hello all welcome back so in previous video we have seen a multiple scenario where we need a vm restart in gcp so let me show the which scenarios we have seen so we have seen a uh, scenario for scheduled restart for multiple vm then critical time restart for a multiple vms or event based restart for a virtual machine or encrypted vm restart on demand restart of multiple vms and a multiple project vm restart so these scenarios we have covered and we have just defined solution for that now in this video we'll see how we can start implementing this solution for a different requirement so in this video we'll cover first a scheduled restart for a multiple vm so how we can restart a multiple vms on a particular particular time so for that suppose we have scenarios where we have to restart vms on a weekly basis or a monthly basis or a particular pattern we have to schedule the vm restart so for that we'll be using a solution as a vm instance schedule in a google cloud so i'll go to cloud console and we'll show you how we can create a vm instance schedule to restart our virtual machine so i'll go to the cloud console now so currently i don't have any virtual machine in my project so first i'll create one a default virtual machine So I'll create without any much configuration. So I'll simply create in central one. I'll keep name also as it is. Then I'll simply click on create. So I am not worrying about a networking or firewall for this demo because we are not using that. Okay, so VM is created. Now I want to schedule a VM restart for this VM or suppose there are 10 different VM or hundreds of VM in US central region and I want to schedule a restart using the instance schedule. So how we can do that? So suppose here I will go on instance schedule and I will create schedule here. I will just give the name as US C1 for US central one and I can just give name us event restart why i'm using the region here because that's the standard practice you have to use as this is a regional so your schedule will be available only for that particular region so i'll choose a us central one here and time time i need to give along with the time zone so always remember in a vm instance schedule you have to schedule a restart 15 minutes before from your a uh, time you are looking for so just take an example i want to restart vm at 12 pm then i have to schedule in vm instance schedule with a time 11 45 because there is a 15 minutes time it will take to restart your vm or start restarting your vm and that is also mentioned in a google cloud documentation i'll show you that so just let me show the current time here now so i'll just type here current time now so now the time is 9.31, okay. So what I will do, I want to restart my virtual machine at 9.45. So I will give the time 9.33, okay. So just 15 minutes before. So first, I will give the time here, stop time. So I will give 9.45. Oh, sorry, 9.33 I will give. So it will restart after 15 minutes and start time. I want to restart or I want to start suppose uh, I will just take 11 because I don't want to wait till a start time so I will just mention 11 but we have to give in a 24 hour format so for 9 I have to give as a 21 okay I am not able to click here okay so here I have to give 21 33 and here I have to give suppose 23 okay I'm not worrying about start time I'll just want to show you if it is getting stopped at that time and in time zone if you type IST it won't show you so you have to type India and based on this it will fetch you a Indian standard time okay so if you are not giving anything uh, initiate date from which date this schedule should effect 
it will take by default and if you have any requirement to suppose you want to start the schedule from monday or something you can choose the date here and frequency so you can use a daily weekly or monthly also one more option you can also use a cron expression also in this so i am not using a cron expression i will simply use this input format from here and i'll click on create so based on this time 21:33 it means 9:33 our vm will start around a 15 minutes time so once we created a schedule we have to add vm instance to schedule so i'll click on add and we have to select this checkbox just added the instance so you will face this error so as always i have told in my previous videos as well so i'll always start from the beginning and i will face the issues in between because a lot of my viewers commented me that i have to mention a permissions and roles required for that particular task also whatever i am doing in videos so that's why i am just starting from a scratch and whenever you are doing that you will face this error because you have to add a permission what is the permission required compute instance start and compute instance start stop permission to this service account now i will just show you one more twist here so if i copy this service account okay and if i go to iim i'll just open a new tab and if i go to iim okay and if i do control f with this service account you won't find any service account here you could see just because this is not a default compute service account this is a service agent because this is your service account name for compute and this is something different compute system iam gs service account dot com so that is a service agent which is different from service account so where you will get that so either you can just copy grant access you can type here it will show you here once you added in a new principle it will show here okay so it is showing here else other option i'll show you just click this checkbox google provided role grant because the service account is managed by google you are not creating so this is managed by google so once i click on this now few more service account added and let me find it again so i'll just paste the same now you could see i am able to find this and here i can add a role so currently it is having only default role so our error has given us some more permission compute instance start compute instance stop so you can either google these permissions are available in which role or you can simply create custom role and add this permission so instead of adding this permission one by one what i will do i will add one role which contains this permission so i'll just add compute instance v1 admin role so i'll just compute instance admin v1 so this role is sufficient for our tasks i will just save it okay once it is saved i will go here and i will i try to add instance again and we'll see if it will again give us an error or it will create okay it successfully added now we'll see how our instance schedule will look like okay so 11 pm every day and stop time 9:30 pm every day so at this time it should stop but as i said it will just delay by 15 minutes so it will start starting or uh, stopping the vm after 15 minutes of this time so what is the 15 minutes after this is like 9:48 so i'll wait till 9:48 and i'll show you once vm is stopped so currently our vm is 
running here so i'll show you once it is stopped so for now i'm just pausing the video for 10 minutes and i'll show you once vm is stopped hello guys and i can see the vm is getting stopped now so let me show you the time how much time it took so current time is 9:53. so it took a more than a 15 minutes here and that we can say as a limitation for this it will take a 15 minutes of a time whenever we are a doing a operation or we are creating a schedule so if your virtual machines are in the same region and mostly in the same project and even there is a no issue if your vm get restarted even a 5 or 10 minutes later then this solution you can use as the best solution for your requirement but in case where you have fewer vm and you need a restart on exact times or it is just a time critical in that case you have to use a other solution that we'll see in our next lecture so thank you for watching this video